Talk about a suddenly ominous shift in emotion. <laughs> and just like that, the entire Mets fan base is rightly terrified. 10 2 on the fan. What's happening? Tiki and Tierney show here. Oh, boy, Tiki. Oh, mm. boy. Mm. He is uh, he is back in his second home. Jacob deGrom once again stuffed inside of an MRI tube. This is... Concerning? This, no, no, listen, be, is it concerning? Of course it's Worrisome. concerning. It, it, you name it. Here's the bottom line. and Or nothing. No, no, it's definitely not nothing. <laughs> He's in the MRI tube. You know that. You know, okay. You know his history. Now, I... I, I don't know if this has really been truly said, if it's been intimated. I don't I don't know. But the way I see it, all right, the way I see it is if the MRI spits out nothing, which, mm-hmm. by the way, all four, one, two, three, four, spat or spit back? Which one are we going spit. with here? I'd say spit. I think it's actually spat, but spat, uh, I think it's both. We're going to go with spit? Yes. Yeah, We're going to go with out. spit? Say spit out. All four spit back. Nothing. A spit. Spit. Yeah. Spit back nothing last year. Here's what needs to happen. And we hope that DeGrom is okay. We do. The Mets need to allow him to pitch if the MRI is clean. And more importantly, and here's what really needs to be said. Jacob DeGrom needs to take the baseball. Take the training wheels off. Every year. I'm not going to say the guy's a hypochondriac. I'm not going to say the guy's imagining things. But... You, you need to plow through injuries or, or soreness. Jacob DeGrom, if the MRI is okay, you have to take the baseball. If they come back, and we'll know during our show, because mm-hmm. I've had 9,000 yeah. MRIs myself. I have told so my <laughs> As of you, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sadly, I think I've had more. I, but actually, mine are more like DeGrom. I'm getting MRIs, and I'm okay. You're getting MRIs. Well, you're you're jacked true. up. That's true. You need surgery. That's true. But you know very, very quickly. <laughs> yes. Now, by the way, the MRI, the labologist, the ray, whatever, they know. They can look at it, but then you need the doctor to confirm that. They will. We will know. We will know the story with DeGrom, I would say, within an hour or so. All right? So once we get back the results, then we can react off of that. But right now, I'm going to work under the assumption that it's going to come back clean. Because for the most part, every MRI this guy takes is clean yeah. outside of the one where he obviously had the big surgery. Yeah, but- and if that's the case, I don't want to hear, we're going to put him on ice for two weeks. We're going to push him back. Take the baseball and let's go. Yeah. Now, look, at the end of the day, Jacob deGrom can afford to be cautious right now this opening day is still well now less than a week away uh, and he's obviously supposed to take the mound on uh, next thursday and so you know that he's he's got time to be cautious now and you mentioned this about getting mris i remember during my my days when i was you know because i heard i tore my pcl my rookie season and then every year i'd have a little something every year it was just always a little eh, that, that little feels a little off well, let's go check it out to make sure yeah i, mean, I feel like something's clicking and catching it oh, let's go see maybe you got a bone spur or something like that we would always get mris and i remember coming back after every single one t- saying whew all right it's nothing big i don't have to worry about it right and so maybe that's where he is in his mindset just precautionary because i'm feeling some discomfort in my shoulder thank goodness it's not his elbow which has already been reconstructed it's in his shoulder I have time to be cautious if there's something off, you know, and it's not, you know, like structurally yeah, structurally yeah. And, and jeopardizing the season. At least I know. Yeah, but and, he always and, does and, this. And, and give myself peace of mind. But, but he always does but BT, this. But BT, my point for doing it, and, and I remember the reason I would always do it, is I just wanted peace of mind. Like, oh, I wanted to gosh. know that I was okay. I get that, I was but... okay, and I felt myself being okay, but I needed to know that I was okay. Okay. And so How many part... MRIs did you have? Uh, I want to get a, give I me mean, a You ever have four in one season? Uh, <laughs> you ever have four in two months? No, no for probably the same not. body part? Pro- probably not. Okay. Probably not. So you, that's, you, you need to be fair about that. It's true. This is not normal for a pro athlete. It's not. Uh, yeah, it's it's get, not. I mean, he throws gas. It dude. doesn't matter. They stop throwing 100 miles per hour the first time you take the baseball in 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 March after this truncated with a truncated spring training upon us when you haven't pitched since June se- uh, July 7th. Yeah. What the hell are you throwing 100 miles per hour for two weeks ago? <laughs> because he why wa- he wants to get started right. Okay, and it, now he's back in his second home, the MRI tube. <laughs> yeah, but at, at, at the end of he's the day, he's got three homes. He's got. He's got one here. Yeah. He's got a condo down in Port St. Lucie, I'm sure. Yes. And he's got the MRI too. Uh, but he's it, always but, in it. But shouldn't this be it shouldn't it be 
I, I should say, a, an opportunity for comfort regarding uh, DeGrom heading into this season. If this was happening, you know, th- three days before, you know, the, the start of the regular season, mm-hmm. before he was, you know, opening day and and he's going into the tube, then you then you, in your mind you're saying there's no way he's pitching. If he's going into the tube on Tuesday, uh, two days before opening day next week, it's, all right, n- now I'm worried. Now I'm saying, huh, we are cursed. And we talked about yet, that yesterday. Someone called and said the Mets are cursed. Uh, they're not. Uh, well, maybe they are, but still, <laughs> it's just it just feels like if it was later in this week. Mets fans can't have nice things. It just feels that way. Yeah, it just feels that way. I, I'm, I'm, I hope he's okay. I'm but going man. to say that this is nothing. Okay, that's that fine. This is just him. Yeah. Kind of like I was at the in preseason. Nah, it, you are, it, no, you're wrong. I got you're wrong. You are you are lumping yes. yourself into. But I needed to know. I understand, My, but he needs to know more than anybody on the face of the earth. That's yeah. the problem. I, but shouldn't he? Were you calling the Giants all? Put me in the. Were you begging no, to be stuffed? No, exactly. No, no. It was just. It was just. I'm feeling some discomfort. Like I, you're you trying know. to equivocate the two, and it's not. You, you played every single week. And by the way, I had to play. <laughs> you know, so otherwise, otherwise someone's going to get paid. Otherwise, get otherwise someone's taking yeah, my job. I got right? that. I, so it's it's different. Obviously, I know football is different from baseball. This guy's got to take the baseball. If you're a Mets fan, right? And I said, what is the last thing that you would want to <laughs> wake up to this morning? This, this is, is it. it. This is if it. If you found out, well. Uh, Alonzo's hamstring is sore. I don't know. Marte's oblique triggered. Uh, Act Lindor twisted an ankle. Trying to turn two on the backfields, working with McNeil, whatever. Um, you know, even Bassett Bassett hurt his foot doing a you know a, a PFP drill covered first base. Like you could deal with all that with Jacob Degrom the, a week before spring training. You know, I, I you, this is this is as jarring. And I, 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 I'm okay with speaking for Met fans, even though I'm not one. Yeah. Because I know what they're thinking right now. Because I know what they've lived through. And it's every as great as he is every year. Oh, Jake's going for an MRI. Oh, I don't know. Jake's going to be on the shelf. Oh. And by the way, what was wrong with Jake last year? Nothing. <laughs> That's the irony here. Because when he first when he went for the first MRI. You might remember this. You might not, Tiki, but I know mm-hmm. Met fans do. Sandy Alderson said that there was some inflammation. Yes. Okay. And then three orthopedic surgeons looked at the three additional MRI readings and they said, he's good. Yeah. He's fine. Like, how much? I, uh, yeah. <laughs> Met fans, do you have two emotions right now? Now he's starting to get a little tired of this yeah. with DeGrom, but more importantly, you're very fearful of what this might mean to well, the season. I mean, and rightfully so. Oh, of course. I mean, we talk, we've been talking about this with the Yankees all, all offseason, and really just really the beginning of the spring, BT, is that if without Garrett Cole, uh, behind Garrett Cole, who do you got? You know, obviously the Mets have a little bit more of a cushion here because of the Bassett signing uh, after, the, after, the, uh, after the lockout. And so you look at the Mets, if J- Jacob DeGrom misses time, you're, you're, it's not doesn't feel like dire straits. Maybe it actually is. I disagree. But it doesn't I, feel I like di- dire straits. I disagree. Straits. Yeah, Give but it you, history. But, but Scherzer's, I understand that. But just say it's it's short term. Mm. Again, this but is. But it's never short term with but, him. But the, well, I mean, last year, look, what did he pitch? 15 games last year? He didn't pitch since July. So now, in his defense, the thought was that if the Mets were in it, yes. he would have come back. That's exactly right. And he right. was on the path to doing that with that's his ex- throwing regimen. That's exactly right. But he still right. is not pitched since, these are just facts, July 7th, last game. It is April 1st. Right now, he's back in an MRI tube. Yeah, that's Those a, are two facts that are irrefutable. But I think if you're the Mets, this is not as, this isn't as concerning Ugh, as it could I, be. I'm just trying to be optimistic. Yeah, in, in 39 for, minutes, for the, if they for see the something that's torn, of course, it's more concerning. Well, but right I mean, now? He went into the MRI tube at 9.30. I think they were saying that he was he was scheduled for his MRI. So, I mean. And I hate that noise. That uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't move. It's like so disconcerting. Don't move. You moved. You flinched. Yeah. You know what would happen? You got to start over. You know what would happen? I'd always fall asleep. And, so, and then I'd jerk. You know, you, know, you just kind of. You, your body just moves yeah. involuntarily when you're sleeping, and they'd have to start it over. MRI tubes suck. You know, yeah, when I do. when I had Tommy John surgery, so they had to. I'll never forget this. They had to, and of course, they just need the official reading. They put my right elbow, my right wrist, where they had weights on the right wrist to weigh it down, yeah, so that it could be straightened, so to get the the proper reading. And I had to sit there or late for an hour. Oh, geez. And if you moved, it became inconclusive. It was misery. Listen. I, I don't think I'm out of bounds here. I think Met fans are getting to the point as much as you love what you're, Jake. What you're saying and he's amazing. 
but you've got to pitch. You're saying that they're tired of Jake. I believe Jake that they the are growing very weary issues. and tired of this constant trip to the MRI tube. Mm. Yes, that is precisely what I'm saying. It wasn't. Nothing their, else needs to be interpreted. It wasn't. They're getting tired. It of It wasn't their biggest issue last year. It wasn't. I mean, so many things went awry last year. But I can see why, while while not having your best pitcher available right. halfway through the season is, you know, it's worse than frustrating. It's it's probably maddening because it's it's the one thing you can look forward to, and it's not even there. Last season. 877-337-6666. on a Friday here on the Fantiki and Tierney Show inside the Town Fair Tire Studio. Our friends at Town Fair Tire remind you that at Town Fair, you always get guaranteed lowest price on name brand tires from Connecticut to made. Nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. Listen, some guys are just predisposed to injuries. Trust me, I know. Mm-hmm. But, and when you go for MRIs and you go for whatever other you know battery of tests, they usually spit back injuries. Yes. Why, I think Met, why I know Met fans are growing incredibly disenchanted and frustrated with this is that he's going and it's not spitting back anything structurally wrong. Yeah. But he's not playing. Yeah. That is that is not normal. Yeah. Almost, I don't know how else to say it. It almost feels like... Like my grandma's always going, rest in peace. Yeah. You know, you get older, you, I got to go see my doctor because you're bored. Yeah. It almost, you know, you, you, I'll go talk to my doctor. I'll go uh, go to the pharmacist. I'll go to... You're, you're the ace pitcher. But do, do you think if the Mets were in better... Uh, standing in the division or, you know, playoff picture. You think he pitches through some of these non-injury situations? I'm not questioning his competitiveness. No, by no means am I doing that. Again, so I, I can't answer and that. I don't, I, I, I don't even know if it's him, to be honest with you. It could be the Mets saying, you know what, let's be cautious. Well, then the Mets got to stop doing this because yeah. here's the other thing. This, as much as you hate the timing of this a week before the season, mm-hmm. and he's obviously scratched from his final spring training start today, but – He's 34 in June. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Cohen's not letting him walk, even once he opts out. He's going to be a Met. Yes. But you need to know if this guy can pitch for 30, 33, 34 starts the next four or five years, whatever he gets contract-wise. Not not the Is this going to be the the common occurrence the next half a decade? Well, DeGrom's back in the MRI, too? And especially after he's already told us that he's opting out. (laughs) As as he should. Of course. But I'm just saying. But still. Yeah. It's like, I, I'm going to opt out, so you guys got to pay me. I want to test free agency. All right, great. Yeah. It, it, you start more than 15 games. I don't know, man. Far be it for me to tell a pro athlete to suck it up a little bit, but that's <laughs> that's kind of where I'm going. Like, I, I am. Now, I need to is, see he st- what- is he still the your, your the best pitcher, pitcher in New York? Oh, absolutely. Despite he, this. Because yes, think, about, think yes. about what makes you. Well, I mean, if he comes back okay, but and he can't on. pitch, but then think he's about, done. Think about what makes you great. It's obviously having the stuff. Yeah. And this is really any sport, but let's just talk baseball. But it's about having the stuff. Yeah. But it's also about showing us your stuff. You got to like answer the bell. It. Exactly. I get it. You got to answer, you the, answer bell. the bell. You could be the great the, oh, the guy with my, my nephew is the better player than Michael Jordan. Okay. Did he ever <laughs> well, who play? Who the hell's saying that? Did, besides, he, ever, did, he, ever, did he ever play? The ball family. But you know what I mean. Yeah. yeah, but seriously. He actually did say that. Right. He did. <laughs> but, like, all right, did he play? No, he didn't. Yeah, I mean, he could have been good if he, he worked been, at it. Right? Yeah, I, yeah, I saw him in the crib. He had incredible, exactly. he had impeccable, sublime no, hand-eye coordination. No, that's, that's, that's an extreme exaggeration <laughs> regarding DeGrom. No, you're right, though. Availability's para. You're not, well, you're not, not pitching, doubt. you're not playing. It's, it's different. Listen, what I've said forever with my own eyes, and then we're going to get to you and get these calls here. I know you guys want to go. I know you've been ready to go all night and all morning, and you're going in a second. But with my own eyes, didn't see Seaver, Carlton, mm-hmm. Carlton Vintage, you know, Nolan Ryan Blah. With my eyes... The short list would be, in no order, Maddox, Pedro, Rocket, Kershaw. DeGrom is definitely on that list. But I know Kershaw's back has been an issue. Yep. All those other guys, they always took the rock. Yeah. They took the ball. Yeah. Did you they say took Mad the Bum in there? What's that? You say Mad Bum in there? No. He was more of an October grade. He yeah, was very true. good. It's true. But not uh, from April to October, no. Okay. Let's get to Frank first up. Kings Point. Well, Mets, you wanted us to talk about you, Mets fans. Here we go. <laughs> Not like this. No, I don't want to talk about it, but it is what it is. Frankie, what's happening, what's up, buddy? Frank? How are you? Guys, what's going on? You guys got the best show on FAA, man. I love you guys. Appreciate Hi. that, bud. What's up? Uh, listen, BT, I couldn't agree with you more. The same thing happened with David Wright. Every time Wright got hurt or the stenosis, it takes him two hours to get on the field. Is he going to play? Is he going to play? We all got sick of it. This is the same thing now going on with DeGrom. Toughen up. Get out there and pitch. If there's nothing wrong, hey, listen, we all got a little pain. Any professional athlete, any athlete always is in pain. That's just the way it is. Okay? Get out there and pitch. I'll take a 70% 
a, a maximum Degrom out there. He doesn't have to be a hundred percent. Get out there and pitch. You know, and I'll tell you guys one other thing too. Like last year with the Mets locker room situation, mm-hmm. where was Degrom? Well, you never heard a peep from this guy yeah. uh, as a, as a great leader. Everybody said, "Oh, Degrom, Degrom." Where was he? He's not a leader. This guy's all, all about himself and, uh, well, and the money. I mean, well, I, I really believe it, that. I, I mean, I can't, I can't co-sign that because Frank's I don't know for sure. Fast. But Frank, you're getting, you're getting heavy. I told you they're pissed. And by, by the way, I, take this, Teak. I don't think that that's going to be. The outlier opinion, maybe on the leadership, yeah. But Met fans are they're well, no, pissed about I, this. I mean, it, it actually that actually it. might be the the prevailing opinion. But this is why you go get a Max Scherzer though, because you know that he's the antithesis of that. Yes, right? but if you only have Max Scherzer, it's like the Mets a year ago with a slight upgrade in bats in a better division. If if Degrom doesn't pitch a lot this year, and again, I'm not saying that that's going to be the case. But if it's just Scherzer and this lineup, Mets aren't winning anything. Yeah, I'm not even they're talking. They're, they're lucky if they make a wild card. I'm, at that I'm point. talking about the. Emo- that good. I'm talking about the emotion. I'm talking about the, like, see what CC was for the Yankees. <laughs> like CC was. Oh, but he's got a different demeanor than Degrom. I I'm not talking about that. I'm saying this is why it's a good thing that they went and got Max Scherzer because Max Scherzer is emotional like yeah, that. Yeah, he had no question. Now, he he's not going to fight the opposing team like CC wanted to do half the time, <laughs> but at le- he's got that emotion, which is Im- it's important. I agree with that. It's very important. Man, oh, man. So uh, the one thing that I love the passion of the last call, trust me, I get it. This is kind of not really the same because he hasn't played a meaningful snap uh, for, the, for the team. But, you know, when, when you saw that Carl Lawson ruptured his Achilles in practice last year, if you're a Jets fan, were you really stunned? Mm. And it's like, oh, here we go. Yeah. And it's like, you know, really, what could derail this Mets season? This. Yeah. This is, this is. That's right. You know, but I don't think the last call that was fair to David Wright at all. Uh, I will stenosis always. Stenosis pre- is a little bit of a different Come on, situation. Man. Spinal stenosis is verified on an MRI. It is literally a narrowing of the spinal column. Yep. The pain is unbearable. It's it's intolerable. Uh, David Wright was his, I love David Wright. Gamer. So you can't. Even as a Yankee guy, let's not disrespect David Wright. He used to come on the wheelhouse a lot back in the day. So I like him. <laughs> but no, when you have spinal, spin, uh, spinal stenosis, you're really hurt. Yeah. But when the MRI keeps you can do spitting back it. a clean shoulder or a clean elbow, yep. are you hurt? It's it, it's fair to ask the question. I'm asking it. I'm asking it. Now, we'll find out today if he's really hurt now. Up to today. 877-337-6666. All right. You guys get a chance to shine. We're hammering the calls. Coming up. The Grom Mets, the huge story, next on The Fan.